Um, and this, I, I'll just walk you through this. I'm showing possible sources and sinks of methane. I'm just going to focus on three most likely scenarios to explain the methane that we're seeing on Mars, both the background level as well as the spike. Uh, methane can be generated from the action of the solar ultraviolet radiation on surface organics. Cosmic dust in the form of interplanetary dust particles, uh, micrometeoritic particles, is a good source of surface organics. Uh, in the presence of liquid water, uh, methane can be generated by biology or geology. Uh, in the past, when Mars was wetter and warmer, uh, these kind of processes could have taken place. But even today, if there are subsurface aquifers present, the press process can occur uh, today as well. In geology, uh, rocks containing minerals of olivine or pyroxene, that's common, to, common on Mars, uh, would interact with water and produce methane in the process known as serpentinization. Uh, in biology, certain microbes known as methanogens produce methane in their metabolic process. So once methane is produced, it can be stored in the subsurface. The storage is in the form of clathrate hydrates of methane. These are molecular cages in which uh, it's a water, ice, lettuce structure in which methane gas is trapped. From time to time, the clathrates are destabilized, methane escapes, and finds its way through cracks and fissures in the rocks and gets up into the atmosphere. So whether methane was produced biologically or geologically or by the surface uh, organics, uh, once it's in the atmosphere, the winds are going to move it around. In a matter of a few months, methane is going to be distributed over the entire planet. In the atmosphere, uh, photochemistry destroys methane. Solar photons, solar UV photons are absorbed by methane. They pull apart the methane molecule. Both methane and the products interact with the chemicals in the Mars atmosphere. Methane and the products get oxidized, and they form <coughs> things like formaldehyde and methanol. Ultimately, they all go into carbon dioxide, and that is added back to the background carbon dioxide atmosphere. So the very low background level of methane that we are seeing could result just from the UV degradation of the surface organics. Uh, biology and geology could add to it, but they're not really required. The sudden spike in methane that we're seeing over a two-month period, that represents a burp of methane from either a modern source or leakage of methane from uh, clathrate storage. Uh, <clears throat> the fact that methane uh, was at the background level it suddenly went up, came back down to the background level as suddenly, uh, indicates that the source must be relatively well localized and small. And uh, looking at the wind fields in Gale Crater and around Gale Crater, we suspect that the source is northerly. So uh, all these observations that we have over a two-year period, they are strongly suggestive that Mars is currently active. 